has marked everything on the slab. We begin sheetrocking tomorrow. Um, and just in case something were to accidentally get covered up with sheetrock, uh, we mark it so that uh, we can go through after the rockers are done and check everything and be sure everything is where it belongs. For instance, we have you know, a symbol for switch right down here. We have a switch right here. I have a wire stub and an outlet right here. Well, I mark stub and outlet down on the slab. I've got you know can marked right there. Well, I've got a can right there, another can, then a supply, then a can. Mark corresponding on the uh, slab underneath where everything goes. Everything on the wall is marked. Um, rarely do we cover anything with the sheetrock, but sometimes it happens. And it's a lot easier to, to locate something that's missing when it's written on the slab than to go back and look at the photographic record of the house and try and determine where it may have been before we covered it up. For instance, there's a smoke detector. It goes right in there, so we have smoke. And then there's a, a switch and a outlet, so outlet switch. Uh, just a little bit of uh, time and effort to do it. A uh, Sharpie in about 30 minutes, actually. But the time and the effort that can be saved from doing this little bit of preparatory work uh, can really be uh, significant. So we'll take some more video as soon as we get uh, going on the sheet. <laughs>